My name is Amanda Waters and I am in my final year of my PhD program. Harmful algal blooms are a major financial, ecological, and human health problem worldwide. One harmful algal bloom in particular, Carlidinium beneficum, has an interesting history that dates back to the late 1940s in the United Kingdom. Scientists there were looking for new sources to feed oysters. However, when they fed Carlidinium, unfortunately all the oysters died. Upon further exp exploration, what they found was that Carlidinium produces a rather large exotoxin that is lethal to most marine life. Unfortunately, that's where the story ends because of technological limitations. Now, fast forward 50 years. In 1997, massive fish scale events started occurring off the coast of Maryland. Upon much debate, they found that Carlidinium beneficum was the causative agent. So now it became imperative that we not only know the structure of the toxin, but also its mechanism of action. So after we had 50 years of advanced technological um, equipment, we were able to actually isolate and elucidate the structure of the first carlotoxin. Carlito carlidinium is interesting in that it produces many types of carlotoxin depending on its geographical location and its environmental conditions. So interestingly, it uses carlotoxin to be involved in a predator-prey relationship. As you can see, you have carlidinium throwing out a tow line to consume this cryptophyte that carlotoxin has disabled. So based on this interesting mechanism of action, we wanted to explore it further for its biological activity. And what we found was that carlotoxin is actually very active against non-small cell lung cancer as well as leukemia. Now cancer is the second leading cause of death in the United States, with 25% of all those cases due to lung and bronchus cancer. And leukemia is the leading cause of cancer in children. We also tested carlotoxin for anti-angiogenesis activity, which is the formation of new blood vessels that allow tumors to grow to a new size. And we found that it was very active. So what you have is a dual-edged cancer treatment where it can not only kill the cancer cells, but it can also prevent tumor cells from growing further. The majority of my research has focused on the elucidation of carlotoxins from around the world and their ability to fight cancer. I'm now in the final stages of my research where I'm focused on synthetic strategies to produce this molecule and modify it to be a better pharmaceutical drug. So what we do is take something that nature has given us, tweak it slightly, and improve it as a pharmaceutical method. I'm a firm believer that nature produces the cures to all of the diseases it creates. You just have to know where to look. In this case, we've taken something that started out as an ecological disaster and turned it into, hopefully, a pharmaceutical savior.